Hey guys, Basic Gordon here. Let's do a quick recap of what has gone down over the last couple of days. First and foremost, in terms of local news, looks like Eric Bellinger and Sammy, yes honey, Sammy, if you're my age, and like, hey, about 32, you remember Sammy from back in the day when he did a song, I Like It, which was so so popular. Well, these two have decided to team up and do a tour called the Vibes on Vibes Tour. And guess what? They will be right here in Seattle, Washington on April 3rd. In other Seattle news, it looks like Bumper Shoot is getting a little bit of a facelift. They actually decided to name a new producer, and believe it or not, one of the people on the team happens to be Steven Severon, one of the owners of Numos. In a recent interview with Seattle Times, Steven said, It's not about us. It's really about the arts in the Pacific Northwest and what we have here, which is a treasure trove. There's so much cool blank <laughs> that happens here, and you got to dig for it a little bit. We're going to take some of that digging out for the people that either don't want to or don't have time and put it on a grander scale for people to experience it. I'm totally here for it and I definitely can't wait to see what you end up doing with Bumper Shoot later on this year, Steven. Now, ironically, Taco Bell and Subway are both selling chicken wings. Neither of these companies sell chicken like that. However, if you go to your local grocery store, child, not only can you not find chicken, you can barely even grab lettuce. On top of that, it looks like even Wingstop, as we all know, Wingstop is, <laughs> all they sell is chicken legs and, or shall I say, party wings. Uh, they've had to move over to chicken thighs, so I'm not too sure how the heck Taco Bell and Subway of all restaurants are able to keep up with the chicken wings, but I feel like it's a little bit suspect, and if any of you have tried it lately, I really, really hope that you are feeling okay. Robert Young Thug and Gunna were recently kicked off of their private jet. Now I'm really not sure of exactly what happened here, okay? I'm gonna play a little video for you guys so you can see a little clip of what Young Thug is saying, but from what we know, Gunna didn't have his ID and apparently somebody disrespected one of the flight attendants. I got a mom, bro. I got eight sisters. I'm not gonna, I'm not disrespecting a woman. When she told you that somebody disrespected her, you're supposed to sit if, if you kicking me off the plane and, and making me, five guys if you, get off. because Queen? they, yes, I'm recording. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm a superstar, okay. but I know I asked him what happened. Hey, he, he said somebody disrespecting him. I'm okay. like, okay, who disrespect you? Okay. He couldn't tell me who disrespect him. Okay. Nobody has disrespect you. All right. Like this is my artist. All the all the people on the plane, they some kin to us. They either with me or my artist. I'm the I'm the big dog here. Okay. So I'm gonna be the one talking. I said, what did we disrespect you about? Oh, the whole, one of my friends didn't have ID. The whole ID thing just, just ticked me off. I'm like, okay. You guys are taking off or landing? Now again, it's still not 100% clear on what the heck went down. However, I did do a little bit of Googling just to make sure that it is true that you cannot ride on a private jet without an ID. And you actually do. You need an ID or a passport to even get on there. So, I mean, no matter what, they all would have had to pull over and get off the plane. So I'm not too sure as to why it was such a big deal. I did see a clip where Young Thug mentioned to the police officer that they wanted to see uh, whoever was on the plane's ID and they showed him a picture of it. Well, with all due respect, good sir, your ID is not like your COVID vaccination card. You can't just go taking pictures of it and handing it to people. So I don't really know what happened there. What I do know is that later on in the day, they were looking for another private jet to get their bus to New York. Hopefully they made it. Kanye West is actually dropping a new, I want to say three part documentary on his life. And guess what? It's going to be on Netflix. Okay. It's called Genius, of course. And I want to say it's airing February 16th. 16th, or shall I say the first part will air February 16th and what I think is so dope about this Kanye West has been filming these documentary clips for the last 21 years if you actually watch the preview you literally see him in the chair getting his mouth fixed and as you guys know years ago he ended up having to like have surgery on his mouth I can't remember why I can't remember exactly what happened but I or actually 
actually, you know what? I believe he was in a car accident, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure somebody will put exactly what happened to Kanye West and why he had to go get that mouth surgery down in the comments. But either way, he has all of these clips. And you would think that some of them are a little bit staged, but no. You even see clips of a young Pharrell and many other people that Kanye West worked with back in the day. Maya Angelou is apparently going to be on the quarter. And as amazing as I think this is, I find it a little bit unfortunate that they decided to, one, put her on the quarter at this particular point in the game. It almost seems like it's a bit of a distraction. Why? Because you go to Whole Foods, you go to CVS, you go to a lot of different places and they aren't even taking cash. So are these quarters going to be collectibles? Again, I think it's amazing, but we're also still waiting for Harriet Tubman to be on that $20 bill. But again, this is definitely a time where you're going to places like Whole Foods where they're allowing for you to pay for your groceries with the palm of your hand by scanning your phone so that way you're using your Apple wallet. Everything is becoming very, very touch free. So for them to wait until now, for them to wait until now, I'm, a, I'm feeling a little bit of a way. It's almost giving you just might as well make these quarters collectibles because again, if you go to Whole Foods, you're not paying with cash unless you have a cashier check you out. So on one hand, I think this is great. On another hand, I think it's convenient and a lightweight slap in the face and it should have been done a lot sooner. With that being said, I would love to get your thoughts on every single thing that we talked about. That is all I have for you on today's Rewind with Besa. Of course, you can keep up with me on social media at Besa Gordon and you already know, listen to me weekdays on Cute 93.3 from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m.